In other news, we take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but should be. A nine-year-old boy in Tennessee who weighs 55 pounds managed to reel in an 80-pound sturgeon during a recent fishing trip. The fish had 25 pounds on that kid. They wouldn't even let those two fight in the same weight class. This kid is tougher than a $2 steak, which you won't have to eat because the boy's got his own sturgeon. And baby, when I say he's got his own sturgeon, I mean he's got his own sturgeon. Copyright coming to America. Hopefully he'll keep on catching big fish. Otherwise, you know, he would have peaked at nine and that's just sad. Another awesome kid news, an 11 year old skateboarder named Guy Curry from Brazil became the first person to complete a 1080 degree turn on a vertical jump. There you see it. He broke a record formerly held by Tony Hawk, the Tony Hawk. This man is Simone Biles on wheels, a human fidget spinner. You, you remember those, right? Okay, I'm old. Congratulations, kid. The guy whose record you beat has built an empire off skating and video games. Time to hire an agent and get this money. In other news, a Tennessee father whose daughter's college graduation got canceled to her after, uh, he said to her, after all those years, you're going to walk across somebody's stage if I have to build you one myself. And that's exactly what he did. He held a personal graduation ceremony in the family's front yard on a stage that he built. That's what I'm saying. Right? Somebody should get a great Father's Day gift yeah. after all of this next month. This is dad of the decade territory right here. Most dads would have just let her order whatever she wants from Uber Eats and called it a day, or maybe even caviar since it's a special occasion. And by most dads, I mean me in the future, I think. And lastly, a Japanese video chat website designed to host virtual drinking parties called Nomakai or Drinking Gatherings has soared in popularity while bars and pubs remain closed. Now, this was the perfect business model for right now. They would have thrived even when bars were open, but now, thinking straight up print money. It's hard to mess up an idea like, let's take away the stigma of drinking at home by yourself. It also makes being antisocial much easier. This is a happy hour that you can abruptly cut off anytime you want and just blame it on spotty Wi-Fi. That's what I'm talking about. Let me know what you think of these stories using hashtag GetUpDC. Right now, let's send it to Matt Gregory for what's coming up after the break.